Hi, beautiful. I'm here today to test a new gadget. Actually, it's not new at all, but it's new to me. We're gonna try a little high tech. Uh, it's actually not that a high tech. It's a detangling brush, but it's electronic. And apparently it detangles your hair better than any other ordinary detangling brush. This product really feels like a gimmick and I want to be proved wrong because listen, nobody likes pulling hair when they brush. And for somebody who has no patience like me, brushing hair when it's really tangled and having such a hard time getting through it. I don't want that in my life. So today's tool, I really need it to help me. So let's try out this detangling contraption tool. Let's try it on wet hair. Let's try it on dry hair. Let's do all the tries. Let's do it. So there was a video on TikTok. This is where everything starts for me these days. It's like, I see something on TikTok, I need to buy it. I buy it, I try it. I don't always love it, but here's the video. This video is by Mr. Matt Loves Hair, who's also a hairdresser. So I just, you know, I just have a little bit of a heightened trust for <laughs> the things that he likes. Electronic detangling comb went viral. I had to have it. Annoying alert, it required a tiny screwdriver, but we're ready to go. This bun's been in all day, should be pretty tangled, but oh my- God. Like there is no Do you see that? And no catching, I love. I mean, like, it just looks easy. And that's not the only video I saw. There was a lot of them on TikTok. I kept scrolling and every day, another one. And I kept seeing them and I said, you know what? This is my sign. I need to try this damn thing out. So we have it. <laughs> Round of applause. Bring it in the studio. <gasps> And this is it. Matt was using this exact same one. But what I found out later on after buying this is that there's two different kinds. Um, There is a Remington one and then there's this one. I don't know, I feel like this one's like the knockoff one, but I'm not really sure which one came first. I'm gonna say probably the Remington one. Here's a picture of it. It's like $4 more or something, but this is the one I've been seeing a lot. So I decided to try this one. Let's first of all, judge the product, right? Okay, so we have this little like storage cap. The whole thing feels like a toy for a child, but I think this is marketed towards children who have very tangly hair. These teeth are absolutely the most interesting thing I've seen in a long time. I have no idea why, like why they're shaped like that. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little Christmas trees on here. These are just supposed to be magical and detailed tangle your hair and I just find it hard to believe baby I I feel like you are scary and you are scammy but I don't know it's not the most attractive tool definitely not professional looking you know whatever but let's turn it on shall we <laughs> I mean, I know it's not marketed towards like professional use, I don't think. And, um, you know, people wouldn't really use this in the salon, but imagine you have a client and you're like, hey girl, we're just gonna like detangle your hair really quick. And you're like, hey girl. What's up? What's that? What was that? What'd you say? How was your weekend? What? Your weekend was good? Good. So they're spinning, but they're also shaking back and forth. Now I get this. In my head, I'm like, okay, that makes sense because when you get tangles out with your hands, you're kind of like going back and forth with your fingers, right? And so if these go back and forth opposite directions at the same time, they're kind of like wiggling the hair out of the tangled mess that it's in. Now that I'm actually using this, this is making a lot more sense to me. And I'm like, mm. and it's growing on me. I know. I know. Should I even say that? It, yeah, it's. It's growing on me. So this thing is very simple, actually quite heavy. It takes two batteries. You turn it on, you turn it off, and it detangles your hair, supposedly. Also, I looked on Amazon. I was like, what are people saying about this thing? And the reviews are interesting. There's some positive, there's some negative. You know, people are saying, wow, this is a miracle. It works fantastically. It is unbelievable, and I can't live without it. And there's people who are like, save your coin. This is the worst product I've ever used. We're very all over the place. The reviews are very, mm -mm -mm -mm. seems to be a little bit more positive than negative. So that's a good sign. Our first test for today is going to be on straight hair. Bring the clients in. Whoa. <laughs> Miss Manny Quinn. <laughs> We're looking a lot alike today with this hairdo going on. What the f happened to you? You went to a party last night? Come on, don't lie to me, girl. You look busted. You look bad, I'm gonna be honest. And thanks for not brushing your hair this morning for today's experiment. So we're gonna be using this baby on one side of her head. We're gonna be also comparing this product to the one, the only, the Tangle Teaser Brush. I know so many of you guys have this and love it. So we'll be using this today to try and compare this electronic to the regular.
Okay, well, I'm honestly weirdly excited about this. If you know me, you know I love electronic equipment. Anything that I can get that is robotic or different or state-of-the-art or just anything. Really anything that's different and includes an electronic component, I want it. I do, I really like it. I love the future. I love sci-fi. I love just the idea of whatever. Anyways, <laughs> sorry for that little... Okay, Brad. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, normally, obviously, we'd start like from the bottom and go up, but I'm gonna start from the top and go down. <gasps> I know, I know what you're thinking, Brad, you're so risky. And I'm like, yeah, somebody's gotta be. Let's do it. I'm stuck. That was so bad. I, what the f I know I said that I don't really like believe in this, but I was really hoping it was gonna do like work. I've seen it work. Am I doing something wrong? Cause that just pulled the hair so much. It felt like a wide tooth comb with a, a loud sound attached to it that is making you not be able to hear the hair being pulled out. Am I being too critical? I don't know. It did help when I didn't try to like brush it through all the way and I kind of just like started over in small sections. But you know what? Her hair is like not that fine. It's quite coarse. This hair shouldn't be that hard to brush out. It has been through a lot though. Now that we tried this, thing. <laughs> we're gonna try the Tangle teaser on the other side. I mean, I would start at the bottom, but we're gonna start at the top. I'm just saying that that was so much easier. God damn it. I want it to work. I mean, we're not done yet, okay? We're gonna try this on curly hair, but I've seen most people use it on wet hair rather than dry, but it says you can use it on both. So maybe the wet hair will work better. I hope so, because this shit is not gonna cut it for Brad Monday. Welcome, second client for today. You're the lucky one. Oh. We're gonna be trying this piece of technology on your hair. It's really scary by the way, so don't be alarmed when it goes on and it's like, Drrr. it'll be fine. <laughs> please work, please work. Not working. All right, we're doing the Tangle teaser now. Let's see if it works any better. They're both very similar um, on this textured hair. The thing with this is that it's not really brushing the hair. It's just like using a wide tooth comb. So like even after you use the wide tooth comb, you're probably gonna have to brush your hair because it's not really getting the small tangles out. It's getting the very big ones. So I suppose if you had like larger tangles, it would help. This is like fine. Let's not fix something that ain't broke. I'm still very interested to see what happens on wet hair. Maybe the will work, but um, this didn't do anything for me. Why are you not working for me? You like literally just didn't do anything. It's like, do your job, because I'm here doing mine. <laughs> like. And that noise, it's like, why? That hurts my ears. Let's not do the noise anymore. <sighs> Your hair is tangled now, you're welcome. Um, but I'm gonna have to get back to your friend um, because she just got her hair washed and we're about to try this thing on your friend. Okay, hold on, sorry. Oh, wonderful, your hair got more tangled when it got washed. <laughs> Let's just give you a little part. We're not gonna detangle anything yet. It looks like you literally got your hair teased. Okay, right off the bat, let's just stop working from the top down because it doesn't work. Let's start working from the bottom up and see if it's easier to detangle than just a regular detangling brush.
This felt terrible and I didn't like it. This thing got how many good reviews and I'm still not liking anything about it. Like what is going on today? Am I doing something wrong? Is it me? By the way, I haven't used any product this entire video. Their hair has just been shampooed and conditioned. There is no product. So normally I would put some like conditioning mist in there, some hydromania. Um, but today I want to see what really happens, you know, without product. Cause product can make it a little bit too easy, especially with my products. <laughs> now for the Tangle Teaser, the classic. This is so much easier. Are you kidding? I feel like it's also pulling the hair a lot less. <laughs> what am I missing? What am I missing today? Why did people like that thing? <sighs> this is so annoying. Okay, so obviously this side's like really brushed out. This side you can still see there's like knots in there. Let's see if I can like brush out further. Yeah, like this is getting like some tension on it. That means there's still a little bit of knotting going on. And like, look how much better it looks after I brush over the other side again. I mean, this is so much easier. Y'all scamming me lately, okay? There's nothing wrong with this brush. I feel like this review is so dumb, like because there's not one thing I've liked about it so far. And usually I can like pick something that I sort of like, or I can like adjust to liking. This has been like, bad. I really didn't think it was going to be horrible. Fast forward to the intro where I was like, I hate this product already. <laughs> <sighs> well, thank you for helping me out today, Ms. Manny Quinn. We have your friend coming back. She also just got shampooed. So we have one more person to try this on and hopefully it helps with the curly hair. I know curly girls don't always love their hair super brushed out. They like their curls to clump together and give them that glorious ringlet curl moment. So your hair definitely works better with the Tangle Teaser, but does your friend's hair work better with this thing? You're really scary. You're scaring me today. She's like looking right in my eyes right now and I'm like, why do you look like you're coming alive? It's kind of scary. Looks like you got a rough shampoo too. I'm so sorry, but let's try this thing one more time. Hopefully something this time works or happens because I'm about to snap this thing in half. Please do something worth my time, please. I know you guys saw I just tried it on myself, but that felt, that felt really good. These things feel really good. Oh, right, we're doing an experiment. It worked kind of nice. It like made her waves, I don't know if you can see this, it made her waves really nice and clumped together. I don't know if this is better than a wide tooth comb, but it did make her hair look nice, so woo! We got one thing that went right today so far. Now let's try the Tangle Teaser and let's see what happens. It felt about the same. Her waves also look good on this side. Like it feels good. Um, I feel like there's no real difference between the two sides. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna break it. Should I break it? Imagine if I just like snapped it apart. That thing is doing too much so far. It's doing too much for me. I mean, listen, did it detangle? Yeah. Did it do a lot better on this than on anything else? It did. Is that one win for today? Possibly. All right, all right. We performed the tests. It's time to conclude my findings today. My scientific findings of the day. I don't like it. I don't get it. I don't know why people like it. I don't know anything at this point in my life. I'm confused. I am scared what there else there is out there that people like that actually doesn't work. <laughs> this costs $19.59 on Amazon. And the Remington one costs like $24, I believe. Here's the correct price. It's a waste of $20 in my opinion. This Tangled Teaser costs $14. It's less and it works great. I don't know why you wouldn't just use this. Like I don't know. I, I have nothing really good to say. These bristles don't make sense to me. I don't know why they're shaped like this. And I don't know why they vibrate because it doesn't really do anything. Like maybe if they vibrated like a more than what they do. I don't know. It just feels like it's a scam. I'm gonna go out and say it. It feels like a scam. It doesn't really do anything good for my life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. Stop booing at me. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is going to go in the trash. <laughs> 
I'm gonna make sure when it gets into the garbage um truck, it actually gets crushed. Yeah, because I hate it and I'll never use it again. Ooh, got that off my chest. Okay, great. Well, that was a fail. Don't buy that. And just use a tangle teaser or any kind of like very soft bristle detangling brush or a wide tooth comb if your hair is curly. You know, there's other options out there. Things that actually work. If you're not already subscribed, well, you should do that. You can click the subscribe button right down below as well as the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Here's my phone number. Woo! It's really connected to my phone, and yes, I do see some of your messages, and yes, I'll be replying to a few of you guys if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. All around me. Oh my god, there I am. There I am, there I am. If you like to check out my hair care line and my hair color line, and maybe do this color on your own head, it's called Super Red. You can check out our website at xmodohair.com. It is also linked below for you. You can also check out our Instagrams for hair styling inspo at xmodohair and hair color inspo at xmodocolor. If you would like to live your extra life with me and get the comfiest merch on all the land, you can now do that. It's the Live Your Extra Life merch collection. It's so cute. You can get it at xmodohair.com. It is also linked below for you. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Karen and this is hi Brad I want to change the color of my hair but I don't know which color will suit me can you please help yes I can I think you should go dark like a really warm gorgeous brown color here's an example this would look amazing in your hair plus with the length and your natural darker hair growing in I just feel like it'll give you an amazing fabulous look I want to see your hair like super glossy and super shiny really long and dark I would love that. It looks so good. So good luck if you end up doing it. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.